Now, given the extreme hot and cold conditions that races in Europe have been experiencing this summer, we thought it'd be topical to ask the pros what their preferences were in terms of racing conditions. We also thought we'd ask them if there was any races they could remember where there had been some particularly extreme weather. What to date is your toughest race that you can remember? I remember doing Ironman Canada um, a number of years ago and it was so cold, half the pro field dropped out. Um, I remember when I was riding, my hands were so numb. I was putting my hands in my mouth and stuff just to try to stay warm. So I think just mentally, um, that, was the, that was the toughest one just because of the conditions and I don't do well in super cold con uh, conditions, but just finishing that one. Uh, I remember I thought my feet was the warmest part of, the, of, of on the bike. Um, and I got off and started running in the first five plus 10K, they were numb and I thought they were the warmest part. So uh, just finishing that race, uh, I didn't finish great, but just finishing it was a victory for me. Uh, I think I'm on UK uh, in Bolton in 2000 and 2015 we raced that. Yeah, I was there too. It's not just about the course. I think Ironman Hawaii is always a tough race, especially on a bad day. So uh, I think there was one time I didn't finish in Hawaii and then it makes, it's just a really hard race. It's the, the race with everybody, you know, is there at the start line. It's uh, tough conditions, uh, so it's always a tough race. It's Challenge Wanaka when it's the full full course. Another tough race was Challenge is Challenge Madrid as well last year. Just you've got 90 k's of um, very like three huge hills of elevation, and then to the finish, and yeah, the heat and the temperature as well there. So yeah. I would say some of the Asian races, the Vietnam Half and the Malaysian Langkawi full Ironman have been probably the ones where I've seen the most damage to athletes and myself. So The, the first time I qualified for Kona in Sweden, you know, I had to come second to get the points. I snuck in in 50th place on the world rankings back when it was the KPR system and I had to run close to three hours to, uh, to do it, which I'd obviously never ever done before back in 2017. So. Um, you know, that was a real turning point for me to be able to, uh, you know, deliver when I had to. And um, obviously since then, it's been a pretty incredible ride. Do you prefer hot or cold racing? I don't mind either, actually. Yeah, um, don't mind the cold. Probably not super, super hot, but don't mind some heat. I think in general, I like the extreme conditions because it makes it more challenging. And that's what I like. So uh, I do well in, in really warm conditions. And I'm a Belgian guy, so I usually should be able to handle uh, cold conditions, although it doesn't help if you're always in summer temperatures, yeah. but um, no, extreme temperatures. Extreme. I like it hot or cold? Oh, hot. 100% hot. Um, I'm Australian. We love heat. Oh, yeah. It might be hot in Australia and I'll still sta sauna in Australia at heat, so um, I'm enjoying this. Look, I'm in pants. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely prefer hot races. Wow. You know, being from Scotland, obviously hot weather. You know, I love the heat. I love the heat and the humidity, so yeah. On that note, is there a race that stands out as being really extreme weather and which one was it? Uh, well, Wales and Kona. <laughs> and I feel like I've performed pretty well at both of them. So uh, yeah, I like it either end of the spectrum. Magic. <laughs> I think you can't really get past Hawaii every year. I know everybody says that, but when you get there and it's race day, it's like 32, 33 degrees, 80% humidity, and you're running along a motorway. You don't get much more extreme than that. I mean, you, you say Hawaii all the time, just from the, the heat and the humidity and the winds, but on the other extreme, Challenge Volsi uh, in Austria the last couple of years has been so, so cold that I've never felt that cold before. And you kind of lose the ability to change gears or get any nutrition out. And I couldn't take my shoes off at the end of the race. And that's the thing they were handing. We got into T2 and they were giving space blankets and cups of soup to people. And um, one of the other pros, I think it was Lisa Roberts, she was shaking so much that all the soup just came out the pot because she was that cold. Really? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. Oh, I mean, Hawaii, I perform well there. It's um, not everybody does. So for me, it's lucky because it's something I personally enjoy racing in those kind of conditions. So. Brilliant. Uh, extreme. There's definitely been some, ex obviously Cone every year is pretty extreme, but there's uh, like Ironman Frankfurt was very, very hot. Um, I remember one year Ironman Coeur d'Alene broke records and it was very hot. Um, and then, yeah, the extreme cold 
was uh, Ironman Whistler. And the funny thing is, I did. I think my hottest race at the time was Ironman Coeur d'Alene. And then literally, I think it was three or four weeks later, it was my coldest race, and that was Ironman Whistler. So those are the two biggest extremes. But yeah, it's it's tough uh, just mentally and physically when you're battling tough con weather conditions. I think it was a duathlon uh, championship in uh, Edinburgh, which was uh, really extreme conditions. It was only a two-hour race, but uh, everybody was like uh, freezing after the race. So I think that's one I remember in bad conditions. And yeah, Hawaii on a warm day is, is the other side, you know, like extremely whole, hot. Perhaps not too unsurprisingly then, Ironman Hawaii featured heavily in those pro answers, but there were some other races mixed in there too, so those are interesting to hear about. And of course, if you have extreme weather experiences at races, please drop them in the comment section below because we'd love to read about those. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, so hit that thumb up like button and find the globe on screen to get all the other videos that we've made here on GTN. And for another series of Ask the Pro questions, you can find that here.